Hello everyone. My name is Mrs. Kanika Joshi and I welcome you all to another lecture on programmable peripheral interface IC. In the previous lecture, we discussed the internal architecture and the control word formation for this IC. In today's lecture, we will learn how to program a programmable peripheral interface IC. Let us take the same example of interfacing between a PPI IC and A2D converter which we took in our previous lecture. Here we see that port A is working as an input port, port B is working as an output port, PC0 or port C lower is working as an output pin or output port, port C upper or PC7 pin is working as an input pin. For the, for the purpose of programming, the first step is to assign the modes and input output direction to each port. To do so, we will use the input output control format where D7 is set to 1 as it is recognized as an input control input output control word. All the three ports are working independently, therefore we are working in mode 0. So pin number D6 and D5 are set to 0, 0. Port A and port C upper are working as input ports, therefore pin number D4 and D3 are assigned a 1 1. Port B and port C lower are working in mode 0. Port B is working as an output port and port C upper, oh, sorry, port C lower is also working as an output port. So, pin number D2, D1 and D0 are both assigned 0 0 0. Hence, our control word becomes 98H. Now, for the purpose of programming, let us assume that our port addresses for 8255 are the following. For port A, 0AH, port B, 0BH, port C, 0CH, and for control word register, 09H. H indicating that all the addresses are in hexadecimal mode. Now, as shown in the figure, the three lines of port B are connected to the are connected to the ADC IC. Let the data sent by them be 001. And as the content of other pins are not significant, we are denoting them by 0. Hence, our data word for port B becomes 01H. Again, coming back to the diagram. Pin number PC0 is used to send the start of conver conversion signal. Hence, when the start of conversion signal becomes 0, the data word for port C becomes 00H. And when the start of conversion signal becomes 1, the data word becomes 01H. Now, coming to the program. So, the first thing or the first step in first step to do while writing a program for peripheral 8255 is to initialize its control word register. So here we see that the that the R control word 98H is loaded into the accumulator and through that it is sent to the control word register by port address 09H. Then the data for port B is loaded into the accumulator and sent to the port address of port B. Now, when our program has started, there is some random value at port C. So, we don't know the exact value of pin number PC0. So, first, we are sending the data 00 so as to turn off the start of conversion signal because we don't know what random value we have there. Okay. So, data 00 is sent to port C. Now, when we need to give actually give the start of conversion signal then the content of start of conversion signal that is 01 is loaded into accumulator and again sent to port C. Once the start of conversion signal is given the ADC will start converting its data and it no longer requires that signal. For that purpose we will again load 00 into the accumulator and send it to port C to turn off the signal. Now, we actually need to read the data from 
PC7 or port upper pin number 7. So, we have given the in instruction along with the port address of port C. Okay. So, PC7 is the 8th bit or the MSB of the data that is now into the accumulator. So, we are using the rotate left command. By doing the rotate, rotate left command, the MSB of the accumulator is shifted back into the carry register and we can read it using a carry flag. So, uh, here the command I am using is jump on no carry. That is, if the PC7 pin does not become 1, we are supposed to jump to the flag wait. Where is wait? Wait is basically the label I am using to indicate the address or the position in program where I want my program to jump back and read again from port C. So, when the data from port C actually becomes 1, then the then we will come out of this loop, okay? And now, the data from port A is called by the microprocessor or bought into the accumulator from where it can be stored to any location in the memory. So, now, the data is bought, bought from the ADC converter and the purpose of our program is complete. So, halt. The reference that I have used for this PPT are Intel's data sheet for programmable peripheral interface IC and microprocessor architecture programming and application with 8085 by Ramesh Gaukar. I hope you have enjoyed my lectures and now you will be able to write programs for any hardware for the interfacing with 8255IC. If you have any questions, any queries, do email me on my email ID and I hope you have enjoyed this lecture. Thank you.